Good morning everyone. This is Vrishali. In our last sessions, we discussed about DDL commands with practical demonstrations. I have mentioned that particular video and database management system playlist link in below description box. Now, in this session, we will learn about DML commands with practical demonstrations. So, let's see. So, first SQL commands. As we discussed earlier, what exactly SQL commands? SQL commands, they want to perform the communication between the different tables. And these different tables have stored into the particular database. So basically, they perform the communication between the tables and between the database. There are total four types of SQL commands like DDL, DML, DCL and TCL. We already discussed DDL commands like create, alter, drop and truncate in previous session. Here we discuss about DML commands like select, insert, update and delete. So let's see one by one commands. So first, exa what exactly DML commands? DML stands for Data Manipulation Language. Manipulation. This word stands for to perform different operations on the data. Right? So by using DML commands, we need to perform different operations like access, store, modify, update, delete. These operations on the particular table. That's why DML commands, it work on the particular data. And this data have present in particular table. Like DDL command work on the structure of table, DML command is work on the particular data that present in table. There are total four DML commands like select, insert, update and delete. So let's see first. The first command is insert command. Insert command generally used to insert the data into the row of the table. So this is the syntax of that particular uh, insert command. Like insert into table name, you have to mention the column names values this keyword is used with insert and put the values of that particular columns and the another syntax is no need to mention the column names while creating table you have already mentioned the column names right so insert into table name values and put the values there so let's see this with practical demonstrations so here i am using mysql workbench so for performing insert update delete operation you need to first create the table so how to create see here c r EAT create table so our table name is student student uh, suppose 12 okay now our column name so our first column is id which is integer type data is there and not null constraints is there not null means no duplicate values are present in id column right next is first name okay or we can take the name only name and name data type is varchar that is integer type of data and the size of this name characters is 20 and next one is marks so marks marks is integer type of data and their size is 2 right and next one is city city is also character type of data that is varchar and their size is 20 right now next here here student id is a primary key so you have to mention the primary key that is primary key this keyword and mention your column name that is id right so we already discussed keys in dbms in our previous session okay so you just watch that particular video so this is a test syntax of create table so just select all this query and press Control shift enter See here, your table have created. So create command just show the structure of the table. How to display? By using select command. See here. Select star. Star means all rows from particular table. Student. Student 12 semicolon. So just select all this query. Control shift enter. See here, this is the structure of table, ID, name, marks and city. Now you need to put up the values into the particular table. How to put up? See here. First insert into student table. That is student table, S-T-U-D-E-N-T. -E okay, this is your student table, table name. Insert into table name values. Okay. So, as per your columns that have mentioned in create command. So, first is id. So, mention the id is 1. The name. Suppose the uh, name is 
in inverted comma that is character type duff data so mention the name mm, neha okay next is marks suppose marks is 20 that is integer types of data and city city is also a character type of data so city is pune okay next you need to mention again more than one records in the particular table okay so again mention comma and mention the data like uh, next to the id is 2 suppose a uh, student name is rahul comma and student marks is suppose 40 and suppose city is mumbai okay and mention the semicolon so in this way you need to add multiple records into your table so just select this query and press ctrl shift enter see here two records have added into the table so this below uh, particular description box shows the action whatever the particular actions are performed now again execute this query select star from student 12 control shift enter see here this table have created id name mark city and two records have added so this is a work of insert command right now next the next dml command is update command update command generally used to update or modify the value in particular column suppose you want to update the value of particular column so at that time update command have used so what is the syntax see here update table name set set keyword is always used with update command okay so update table name set you have to mention the column name and their values again column name and their values okay as per your requirement and mention the where condition where condition always used with the update command okay so let's see how to use this command with practically now as per our table we need to update the uh, particular student id 2 okay this is a 2 student id and their name is rahul and their marks is 40 suppose if you need to change the marks of that particular uh, name of that particular student suppose we need to change rahul to a particular name that is amol okay in this way so how to change by using update command see here update table uh, wait a minute the syntax is update table name okay so update and our table name is student 12 okay and uh, always use set keyword with update set so you need to change uh, rahul this name with amol okay where student id equal to 2 so where is the condition that mention the student id equal to 2 so uh, our column name is name name equal to that is amol okay so you need to change the name amol but which student student id 2 that's why i mentioned here where where is a condition okay where student sorry where our column name is id id equal to 2 and mention the semicolon here okay see update student 12 update table name set name equal to amol this is a update or this is a modification okay with condition where id equal to 2 so just execute this command control shift enter see here one rows affected now you need to change their updation and modification again execute this command select star from student control shift enter see here first there is a name rahul now there is a name is amul so in this way update command have used or you can change marks of the student you can change city of that particular student by using update command means you can update or modify the data in particular table now the next dml command is select command so as we say select command is used to retrieve the data from database or we can say display the particular table okay for that purpose select commands have used so by you can use select command from multiple ways select star from student this particular command is used to star means complete rows it can display complete table okay suppose if you want to display particular columns in table so you have to mention select the column names from table okay and next way is suppose if you want to display data of row number 2 so at that time you can use this select command select star from student you need to use where condition where row number equal to 2 in this way okay so let's see with practical demonstrations see when you execute this command select star from student so at that time this table have created right 
means it display all the tables all the rows from the tables now if you want to display only two columns like name and marks so how to display see here select star so at the place of the star you need to mention the column name select name the next one is marks from student 12 your uh, particular table name right yeah now just execute this query uh, wait a minute so just execute this query control shift enter see here it display only two columns name and marks right now again execute this query select star from student so it can display a complete table right now again next use is suppose if you want to uh, display uh, the particular student id two data okay only two data so select star from student 12 this is your table name where student id where id our column name is id okay id equal to 2 means for uh, the particular student which id is 2 only this data have display okay only this data will display control shift enter see here student id 2 only the particular student details have display so that's why this select command have used now the next one is delete so delete command generally used to remove one or more rows from the table if you want to delete the rows in table at that time delete command have used so for the condition is uh, syntax is delete from table name where condition so where this particular condition always used with the delete command uh, just see here suppose if you want to uh, just first see your uh, table select star from student 12 okay execute this command so this is your table right suppose if you want to delete the particular uh, row where name is neha okay if you want to remove this first row in particular uh, table so how to delete see here delete delete from your table name student 12 okay where where is generally used for condition purpose where the name equal to neha right means if you want to delete the record which name is neha so just execute this query control shift enter see here uh, wait a minute mm, just a second okay suppose if you want to uh, mention here id let's see here suppose if you want to delete the student which id is 2 because we declare as a primary key for id just execute this command yes see here this rows have uh, affected now just show your complete table here see here the particular student id is 2 this uh, particular row have deleted and remaining data is as it is so this is a work of delete command so in this way dml commands have work thank you keep learning